Hello everyone, uh, this is Chalice round 1, uh, round of 64, um, Chalice 42, we've got Squatty Potty uh, playing Chorfs, <laughs> I had to think about that, looks like Chorfs are on defence as well, so we switched it around, uh, and then we've got Arzawain's Nurgle, uh, so I see Grashnak, which means uh, they are definitely lower TV. That's that's a 310k inducement right there. And this, yeah, claw pom, tackle claw pom, mighty blow, block, guard block, block mighty blow, block guard, block claw mighty blow. That's a lovely beast and ergle as well. That's block stand firm guard. Pretty much the perfect beast and ergle. It's got a rookie pestigor. Agi Pestigore, which is amazing on Nurgle. Uh, only with dodge, not with block. Which is a bit of pain. We've got two Pom Chorfs. We've got one Claw Pom Chorf, one Pom Chorf. Uh, stand Firm, Guard Mighty Blow, Guard Mighty Blow. Ball Centaur, Block, Break Tackle, Guards. And then Block, Dodge, Break Tackle, Tackle. Grashnak's like one of my favourite star players as well. Uh. You don't normally see these big stars. I, I think uh, this is one of... Uh, there's no wizard, so he's only got two re-rolls as well. So he's got two re-rolls, Apo. So there's no wizard, so it's probably only 300s and something. Yeah, he has got three bench. He's got a uh, block, sure hands, dodge. So blodger and two rookies. There's two rookie rotters there. Um... <clears throat> It's not the sort of matchup that you want to have a big TV difference in. If you're a bash team against a bash team, especially against Nurgle, you don't want to be uh, behind in TV. I mean, Grashnak, bless him, absolutely love him. Uh, the biggest problem with Grashnak is he doesn't have block. So, <laughs> although he is strength 6 uh, and he blitzes on strength 7 because uh, he's got horns... Um, he hasn't got block, so he's not the easiest guy to keep around. And he's... Alright, okay, so this was a perfect defense, was it? Yeah. Not sure about putting him here. And to not block stinky fellas. Yeah. I'm not sure about putting uh, Grashnak on the uh, LOS here. This seems really rather bad. Uh, so Squatty is an all. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I would immediately pom Grashnak. <laughs> and there's the no block coming into effect. He survives. Oh my god. Luck. Of, I mean, he's got the dirty player foul coming in now. It's only a one foul. Uh, a one assist foul. No, he's not fouling. He's not fouling. He's just... That's really stupid. This is actually quite a disappointing LOS for Arzawain, I guess. Yeah, not punished at all. I did not look. I did not like putting Grashnak on the line. I guess he's like, I I want to protect my chores. I guess. Um. But I don't know. I don't know. Let's we'll see. So <laughs> we've already got like a a meat cube of death right here. And there's no real way to foul this uh this pommer. Does get a power with a hobo. No, that's with the. That is with the hobo, yeah. Gets a power with the hobo. And it's the claw pom. Are we. Are we gonna pom. Are we gonna pom this warrior? The only problem with pomming this warrior is you're gonna get stuck on the beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer pomming this. But you really need an armor break because it is a dirty player. That That is an armor break. <laughs> Gets the Kaz, gets the dirty player out of there. That is a wonderful result for uh, Squatty. And the ball centre is going to come running through and make a nuisance of himself. Ooh. Doesn't... Like, he can't tag, so he's a square away. I guess that gets him 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It gets him to GFI distance away from this claw. But he's pomming here anyway. Oh, so the Pommer gets pommed, but only eats a stun. Again, that's kind of lucky for uh, for Squatty. I guess I guess the plan was to pom, so he would have been on the floor, in which case he couldn't get 
claw pommed himself, but obviously where he got the Kaz on the first hit. So now this is Beast and Nurgle on Grashnak. Which I'm not sure if I like or not, to be honest. I guess he's just protecting yeah, he's just protecting this. So it's a stand firm next to it. <clears throat> does Claw and Mighty Blow stack? Yes, it does. Uh, the change is happening in Blood Bowl 3 so it won't stack anymore. So yeah, if you've got Claw Mighty Blow it reduces their armour to 7 and then it gives you the plus 1 as well to break the armour. So it's like really powerful, really really powerful. And then it works on the POM as well. So if you don't use the Mighty Blow on the armour, uh, you use it on the, on the uh, injury. There's a stun. There's the POM. There's the KO. So like definitely happier for Squatty Potty of the two here. He's got himself a Kaz and a KO. And that's a strength 4 guy. And the ball centaur's still around to make himself a nuisance. Break tackles through. Bases the ball. Gets the POW. Oh and there's another KO. He has just followed on to Claw, which is uh, uh, interesting. And then Grashnak double skulls. Okay. <laughs> Typical star player. What an absolute legend. 310k just to... <laughs> Arzo getting diced. Uh, kind of. I Kind of, I guess. He's losing the bash fight so far. But I mean... He's got a pommer here. He's going to pom the ball, isn't he? He's going to... Yeah, he's just going to pom the ball centaur. No, he's just going to hit it with claw. He's just going to push it. Is he going to pom it now? Yeah, he's going to pom it now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think I think I re roll that. <laughs> I think I re roll that. Just a stun. And that's the KO, yeah. So he gets a snake on the injury and then it's followed up by a, a 9. So that's huge. The ball centaur is definitely uh, the flavour of the chore team. Wow, fails the pick up, catches it on the warrior. Uh, can we pom this? We can claw pom this. It's double cheer fire though. Want a guard in here. But then that's like a guard on the beast, which is... Okay, yeah, that's much better. He's definitely doing it. He's definitely doing the double GFI, which is... Oh, no, he's going with the ball central. I guess, yeah, if you pop the ball out here... I may, I may have re-rolled that. I may have re-rolled that. Because if you get the pal and pop it out here... You can pick up it on this hobo and you might be away. I, I think I might have actually re-rolled that... Uh, block there. I mean, it's horrible with two rerolls. It's horrible with two rerolls. And um, I don't like putting my claw pommer on the beast and urgle there. Wow, that is a dead chorf. That is a dead, dead chorf. Apo says he's not dead though, so he'll he'll, he'll just be joining on the uh, substitute bench there. But that's, that's a huge swing, right? So in, in two turns, he's lost a pool centre and he's lost a chorf. I mean, he's still probably... Oh, okay. Now there's another chorf. That's a huge Kaz, that one. No Apo for that. I mean, like... Could you argue a wizard... A wizard and an Apo might have been better than Grashnak, maybe... I'm not sure about Grashnak with all this claw pom, like claw and everything here. Might it is a swing, it's a huge swing, wasn't it? It was going so well for Squatty Potty and then in the space of two turns he's lost two chorfs and a ball centaur and a hobo. So I mean that's four players now, so he's down to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Is seven a piece, is it? No, it's seven versus eight. Uh, so Grashnak actually doing his job and powering a uh, 
Pestigor does get a stun. There's the 1D pushing the rotter out. There's no real way of hitting this ball. So he's just gonna red dice and then put himself on the beasts. 1D gets the pow as well. Oh, bad scout. I mean, there wasn't many good scatters, to be fair. Is this the claw palm? It is. He's up. He's down. And he's out. <laughs> and he's out for good. Oh, man. Oh, man. What an explosive couple of turns. Jeez. Absolutely smashed him. This is a this is a scary Nurgle team. This is a scary Nurgle team. Yeah, just blitz him off, go and pick up the ball. And then probably run back this way. No. He fails it. Rerolls it. Down to his last reroll. Yeah, I guess you stay here. I was worried about Grashnak blitzing this off and basing, but it's it's better than this guy blitzing off and basing, I guess. But yeah, the Chorfs have got like not much left here, have they? They've got Grashnak, uh, they've got like two Chorfs, three Chorfs, a Hobo, <laughs> and a Pool Centaur. This is horrible for uh, Squatty Potty, to be fair. I mean, it's it's always nice when, uh, yeah, he has had the better hits, yeah. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. It is, everyone is dying. Everyone is dying. I mean, it's like, for me, I, I quite like it when, when you get the Chorce versus the Nurgle and one of them dies. Because, like, if both of these teams get, like, a solid running Chalice and they just, they'll just they just murder everyone. So the fact that they're, they're playing against each other, at least they get to murder each other. Although it does look like it's horribly going one way rather than uh, both ways. That's that's a really nice little chain push. I mean, it's not the most difficult chain push, but it's it's a nice little chain push. Get himself out. Uh, he can pretty much move up here for free, I believe. So he just moves this like there or there. It's fine. And then this guy just runs off over here. Yeah, and like this should be a score, barring this ball centaur. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, perfect positioning. Just tag this. I'd tag this and I'd run the ball center back. I was going for it. I didn't realize that he's got. Because he dodged. Wow, I didn't realise that. I guess it was because it was the double dodge, but he didn't pop break tackle. So yeah, he should have been a square back. <laughs> he should have been a square back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I didn't I didn't think he would make the two dodges. To be fair, but he did. There was a minor error. Yeah, I'd say a minor error. Just a push. He's got. He's only got one reroll. He's only got two turns. I don't... He's going to need Geophires, right? And he's not going to be able to tag this ball. Alright, makes the pick up. Really stupid. Um, Geophires. Yeah, it's just a Geophire 2D now. Gets the POM. He might as well pom. Like you're not going anywhere else. Doesn't pom. Has he got pom? He has got pom. Why doesn't he pom? He's gonna die. <laughs> okay, he's oh my god. That's a Nurgle warrior that's dead and he he Ah oh, he's regens! What I didn't realise he'd regens. What the hell? Luck a dog. I don't know why this guy didn't pom. Oh, because he wants to pick the ball up. Ah, okay. Which is fair. Which is fair. I don't know where the ball centre was going. Ah, 
But yeah, I guess this is uh, it's not bad, is it? I mean, if this guy, this guy's probably gonna die, right? No. This is quite intense. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this whole half, to be honest. <clears throat> and that's it. it. It like no one's scoring, and unless, yeah, unless there's some sort of chain push, which there's no one left to chain push. <laughs> there's no one left to chain push. It's bonkers. This is. Oh my god! That really shoot. That beast is really stupid stupided quite a lot I actually think hang on hang on a minute I think if we pause it this chorf GFIs to there right so GFIs to there I don't know where Grashnak was I think he was like here one two three four five six seven is it and then like blitz is here what's his movement it would have been GFIs. He might have been able to chain the ball out. And as long as it scatters there, he might have had a shot of scoring there. Oh! <laughs> Foul appearance. What a beauty. There might have been a chance. I don't know. I might I might have miscounted the squares. But I think there might have been a chain push to get the ball centre out. Uh, and to try and score. It is a good match. Yeah, it's mental. Like there's no like permanent damage on the ro like on the the Nurgle. I mean he's completely smashed the pieces anyway, but I believe the bottom two are the actual results, so it's just badly hurt, badly hurt. I believe. Uh, so yeah, I mean like Squatty Potty stopped the score. It cost him half his team, <laughs> but. But he uh, he definitely stopped the score, and he he probably was one of the closer ones to scoring. And unfortunately, the ball sent or stays out. That that could be huge. The ball staying out could be pretty huge. It's just a load of hobos. It's four chorfs, a mino, a ball centaur, and a load of hobos uh, versus a full strength Nurgle squad, and. He's even he's even put a, a Pestigore on the LOS. Rookie Pestigore. I guess he's missing his Agi, which is it's something, right? It's something at least he's missing his Agi. You're gonna need a, a a massive LOS here. Like you wanna you wanna like remove two of these three. Ooh, gets an extra reroll. So Squatty Potty gets the reroll. He he really could do with that. That's a really nice reroll to get. I always feel like two re-rolls in Chalice, just, it isn't enough. Like, no matter what race you are, like, I know Chorfs in CCL probably only need two re-rolls, but in, in Chalice, you've got to have three re-rolls. Especially, this is overtime format, so if this goes to overtime, they don't refresh. And if you have, like, one double skulls, you tend to need to re-roll it, depending on where it is on the turn and stuff, so. Definitely, uh... Ah, oh, there's a foul appearance, and then he bases with the hobo. I'm not sh sure about that because you just hit the hobo with mighty blow and then claw pom crash neck, right? <laughs> That's so you're just giving him a free hobo, and then we just claw pom crash neck. I'm pretty sure that's the play. One D for no reason, yeah. Well, it won't even be a one D. You just step the guard in. It's a two D with mighty blow, and then you and then you pom from the side. Just gets the push there. Oh, I think I would have done this slightly differently. Maybe he doesn't want to pom over here. It doesn't even look like he's hitting Grashnak, to be fair. Ah, oh, he wants to hit the claw pom. Right, yeah, yeah. That does make sense. Yeah, push and then tuck back in. Yeah. I mean, that, that makes more sense, to be fair, I think. Oh, the last chorf hit a 1D for no reason. There's a pout. Getting the stand firmer down is quite nice. There's a push. Push him off. 
And it's it's quite awkward to actually get a 2D claw bomb here. Chaining him out. Oh man. <laughs> Grashnak has not had his finest day. That's that's three foul appearances for Grashnak. Oh, like pretty much in a row as well, wasn't it? Because it was the first two turns of the second half and the last turn of the first half. This is going to be a POM, right? I'm a little bit anxious about how weak this is. This is super weak. Gets the POW. Where's this going to go? One, two, three, four. Oh, and that sucks. That really sucks. This guy's got to get there, hasn't he? I guess that's fine. Yeah. Just gets himself off crash neck. Gets a pal. Can we get the beast and Nurgle one? Like, hmm, no, there's a hobo there, right? Let's pom the hobo. <coughs> yeah. He, he can just get... The beast of Nurgle in here, maybe, or like, would you put the beast on the ball uh, on the ball centre, like here, or would you put it in here? Well, you're not going to put it anywhere. <laughs> it's the answer. You're not going to put it anywhere because it's uh, can reinforce with GFIs. I mean, even this looks a bit weak as well. the push. One, two. Double G. Okay, that looks better. What are we doing? Just break tackle in and blitz in? Is that what we're doing? He doesn't really... He, like, now he's relying on this hobo dodge. The push there is horrible. Oh, and then he fails the break tackle. And then he fails... What? Hang on, hang on. So fails the dodge. Fails it again, but then makes the break tackle. And now he's got no reroll. It looks like he's going to sideline this, which... You need, to, you need to GFI. You can't... No, no. You cannot stay there. You cannot stay there. I mean, you would have failed the GFI, but I, I think when you fail this... Like, I'd even be tempted to run all the way back back down here. I'd, like... Oh, that was pretty horrible. Hello, Kalon. <laughs> ah, okay. That's a good shout. Um, I don't know where it is. Chat box. Someone say something. There it is. Is that better? I guess that's better. <laughs> Who can say? Uh, that was, yeah, that was a real shame. Like, that, that, like, I think he's done alright at Squatty Potty. Like, the whole first half, like, actually getting into a position to score. Like, that, that there was horrible. That was not, not the best idea. That was, yeah, pretty horrible. If you're going to run up, you have to do the GFI with the ball carrier so you can't get surfed. Because it would have been based here anyway, because he would have just hit this off here and then surfed it anyway. Like, it wasn't even, like, a thing. Like, I just don't, I don't think you can afford to move up. I think as soon as you fail that dodge, as soon as you use a reroll, you have to run back. And then, like, or you run forwards and run the hop over. I don't know. It was always risky, wasn't it? Oh, and there's another one. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. He has rolled a few terrible dice as well, to be fair. Like, the failed GFI costing him a reroll down here. There's another one into a stun. 
So, like, difficult. Like, uh, like I, I didn't like the play, um, but, I mean, each to their own. But, like, he has also rolled some horrible dice. He's down to no re-rolls now for the remaining five turns. Uh, four turns. Plus, if it some if it gets to overtime, which it might, because Nurgle have got to get the ball quite far. He's also got no re rolls for overtime. But uh, I mean, I'm assuming if Arzawain picks this up, and I don't know why he hasn't stood this guy up. Oh, if that wasn't the beast of Nurgle, that's like. I mean, it's Grashnak, right? He just. I didn't like. I didn't like the turn order in there either, to be honest. I don't know why this guy's not standing up. And he's blitzing the stand firm. Push. Hang on, where was Grashnak? Was Grashnak here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I put Grashnak on the ball there. I might even go for the Grashnak pickup. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I might even go for the Grashnak pickup there. Like you've you've got no rerolls, so the loner doesn't matter. I know he's like Agi too, but it puts a strength six on the ball. I mean, like even if you don't go for the Grashnak pickup, at least put him on the ball. I don't like blitzing the blood stand firm. I mean, it's. Like, even if it works, he's still got a Pestigore on the ball. So, I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult. He's got, like, minimum resources. Yeah, I know I know why he did it. I know why he did it. Like, I'm, I'm just saying that I don't know if I would have done it. Just because, like, you need a pal. I guess it's what? It's, like, it's probably more likely that you get the pal. But then, like, you still got the ball base, and it's a four plus, so it's like a four plus pick up, three plus, and he can't, he can't score anyway because he's not in range. And like having Grashnak on the ball makes it difficult for the Nurgle to pick it up, which gives this ball centaur time to recover and snake. <laughs> it gives the ball centaur time to recover and snake. Ah, uh, I feel yeah, I feel a bit for Scotty, but yeah, it's I mean this was a bit horrible. Outside of that, it's been a cracking game. Um, like, it looked so good for him in, like, the first two, three turns. And then it just swung massively. Um, I, I Like, if I was um, Arzawain in the first three turns, I would have been really, like, salty and, like, oh, my God, this is all against me. Blah, 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 blah. And then, like, all of a sudden, two turns later, it was a completely different story. Yeah, and this is this is much tidier. He's actually doing all the bits first. I don't know why that rotter one, two, three, four. That rotter probably should just stand there. I guess it doesn't really. He's not going anywhere. You probably don't even need to tag him to be honest. Yeah, and just shield off the ball center. I'd put I'd put this assist in one, two. Three, four, and there's the Kaz. That is GG. There's no way you can catch him. Does get sent off. Well worth the send off. And uh, yeah, I mean that's a that's a scary chorf team that's been eliminated. Unfortunately, they didn't really do any damage to this Nurgle team. So whoever's got Arzawe next is gonna gonna it's gonna be a hard game. Like that's for sure. <coughs> Definitely going to be a hard game. Glorious crash neck. Hello, Dadal Chris. How's it going, mate? It's been brutal, isn't it? Like, the chores have just been brutalised. Absolutely smashed to bits. He was in the space of a couple of turns. Like, he, he looked much better on defence. And then, to be fair, to be fair, like, the offence looked horrible for him before the, the second half even kicked off. With the ball centre being out... Being down two chorfs, um, it looked like a really hard time for him. Like, not really doing any sort of 
like exciting damage on the Nurg uh, on the Necro, uh, Necro the Nurgle. <laughs> that Claw Pommer's just been an absolute. Uh, oh, is it Bright versus Arzawain? Yeah. So what is Bright? Uh, Bright was playing. I can't remember. That was like one of the first games that I I watched. Oh, Bright was against Ducky, so it's Kemri in it. <laughs> oof. Yeah, uh, oof. There's the loner. That that beast has been extremely stupid. Yeah, I, I remember now. Bright versus Ducky. That Kemri team could get smashed to bits. It's a bit of a weird one. The Kemri, uh... Very... No, Bright's still in it. Bright's Bright lost. Uh, Bright beat Ducky, and uh, so it's there's a uh, really stupid again, just for good measure. And we run it in. I'm quite surprised he even took blocks without a reroll. I'm quite surprised, like. I like a block. I like a block like before you score. But I don't know if I do it in Chalice. And I don't know. I don't know if you do it in Chalice. And no, not without a reroll, especially. Like, that was kind of. That was ballsy. He gets a level up on his rookie Pestagore. Gets a level up on the Chorf, but it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, commiseration, Squatty Potty. Congratulations, Arza Wayne. Uh, scary team to beat. Scary team to beat. I think he definitely had the better of the uh, the armor dice and the casualties and stuff. But he did look really, really good. Did look really, really good for Squatty Potty, like in a few, couple of turns, and he he just couldn't turn the screw and uh, get it done. Could he? Just couldn't quite do it. So, uh, yeah, there we go.